Today we are free camping just 12 miles out of Pinedale, Wyoming. And we're at just under 8,000 feet. I can't think of anywhere else in the United States I'd rather be than right here today. The temperature is perfect. We have our own free private beach. The water is perfect for swimming, crystal clear. Rudel's having a ball, literally. We've got our chairs set up to enjoy the sunset. And we've even been getting a lightning show every night. And this is hard to believe it's free camping. And I really love the sound of aspen trees when the wind hits them. If it's a light wind, it sounds like a light rain. And it's really calming sound. And this free campground comes with a picnic table, a fire pit, of course the beach and the water is the best. The temperatures are perfect. What a beautiful place to be. It actually feels like a little paradise. The water here is crystal clear. And other than the boulders, the bottom that you're walking on is all sand. And it feels just like being at a beach on the ocean. right in front of the camera. So it's sure a nice feeling just to sit here and relax in this chair and just to bury my feet into the sand and then just take a look at the lake and relax. And Rudel is not relaxed because he wants to play ball constantly. He's having a good time. And so am I.
And just like clockwork, the evening thunderstorms rolled in, much to our delight. that one that was a good one <laughs> was it recording yes that was a long one i mean it just went, woo, 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 kept on going <laughs> it got a little bit wet we were hoping for <laughs> Some weather, some lightning storm, and some rain, maybe. Not too close. It, the lightning was super close, <laughs> and then it poured. The next lightning to... wasn't super close. Well, fairly close. A couple of miles. And then uh, <laughs> we started getting hailed on. Poor Rudel Doodle ran for the van early. He's dry. <laughs> Carrie was the last one in. Carrie was the last one in the van. She got drenched. Drenched. Quiet mornings are spent with our resident deer family. That is, if you get up early enough and you don't let Rudel see them. If you look closely, Mama has three babies. One baby always sticks close to her side, while the other two babies are quite adventurous, but never wander too far from Mom. I'm going to assume this handsome young man is dad bringing up the rear. A quick, beautiful drive into town to run a few errands. We have a very special delivery coming all the way from the United Kingdom today. So we're in town to pick up some packages today and we are at Moosley Mailboxes and more. We like to use these kind of places to pick up any mail. It has its advantages over a post office because it's easier to go in, get what you need, and get out. And usually they only charge you a couple of bucks per package. So. This is the biggest upgrade that we've done on our van since the two years that we've been living in it. You probably can guess what it is by the box, but for now it's a secret. <laughs> a few last minute tools for that special delivery. Our mail is set up for us in South Dakota at America's Mailbox. And every now and again, we have it sent to us at whatever town we're in at the post office. So today I'm heading in the post office to see what mail that they sent us in six, a good six months worth of time. So I'm not sure what to expect. So this is the unboxing of our mail for the last five months sent from America's Mailbox. 
to the town that we were nearest to today. It's a box in a box. And it's a box in a box. Um, we have our recall. All right, Irvy. Two recalls for the ProMaster. Yeah, which we still need to get done. Um, a USA Bank statement and a card. From who? Oh, it's a sticker. It's our sticker for Amblo Life. Oh, right on. I forgot about that. It's our sticker. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. All right. So this is, I don't know if I can open this. Did you show them our surprise today? No, it's still a surprise. Well, some people will guess what it is because it said on the box, but. <laughs> so this is from Natalie from Canada. Oh, wow. Doodle doodle. What a fantastic job. It looks just like him. Totally looks just like him. Look at the eyes. It's a good job, Natalie. Thanks, Natalie. And this? Is part of our surprise. <laughs> our upgrade for the van. Our upgrade. Very cool. Awesome. To announce, we are doing possibly the biggest upgrade that we have ever done on our van. Dave wastes no time installing our biggest upgrade to date of a Basto heater. We are beyond excited. Oh no, you know what I did? I slid it over this way. Oh, okay. Right there. So then that way, like when you bolt uh, yeah. it up. Unlike our resident deer family, these morning visitors are not invited, and they are being quite stubborn about leaving. No, don't turn around and look at me. Move. Move. Come on. Move. Move. Move along. Yes, you. Move along. Thanks to our neighbors, Bill and Jesse from No Matter Where Van, I paddled across the lake to check out this really cool old log cabin, barn, ice hut. What do you think it is? Alright, should we take a look inside? 
Let's see how muddy it is here. Little slimy. This is one of those locations that I really want to come back to. We've had our own little bit of paradise here, sandy beach, crystal clear water. It's just been perfect, especially for the hot summer months. And Rudel, he's going to miss this spot too. He's been playing ball every day and going swimming. This is unforgettable. There's a lot of things I really like about this boondocking location. Everything. Uh, and I'll try to make it short. <laughs> First of all, the place that we have stayed feels like a little miniature private paradise. We've got sand beach, we've got crystal clear lake water to yes. swim in. The water's warm enough to swim in. And we've, I've been swimming in it almost every single day yeah. and that's a super luxury. So what I really like is we're at 8,000 feet and the rest of the country is in a heat wave right now. Yeah. And we've been like 75, 80 degrees at max. Yeah. What you need to know if you come here. If you come here in September, you might get snowed on. Yeah, that, that could easily <laughs> happen. We had one night where it dropped down to freezing when a yeah. little cold front went through. But normally it's been pretty pleasant yeah. here in the month of August, late August. There is no winter maintenance on the road. So I'm yeah. guessing that means when it snows, it does not get plowed. Yeah, I'm guessing it's pretty much yeah. closed after the first snow. It is free. There is a campground that's free, but they are proposing a $10 nightly fee, possibly next year. Yep. There is a boat ramp. There's tons of things to do. Bring your water toys. We've had eagles circling above us. Yeah, it's only about 12 miles outside of the town of Pinedale, so you can get all the services that you need yeah. right there, and it's pretty convenient. The road is pretty decent. Any vehicle of any size and any trailer can come up here and camp. Yeah. And in August, it does get very busy on the weekend, and it's going to be pretty hard to find a camp spot. There is a 14-day stay limit, and we have stayed 14 days, which is the longest. Yeah. 
That's pretty big for us because- We have boondocked in one spot. That is absolutely yeah. the longest. There is a pit toilet. There's ample amounts of water as long as you have a filter. There is cell reception. It's a little bit limited. We did have to walk around a little bit to get enough LTE to actually use the internet. As always, we appreciate you watching our video and we'll see you next time. Happy boondocking. That one hit me. <laughs> yep, the ball actually hit me. Good job, Carrie. That's what I, I told Carrie. Try to hit me with the ball. Get it as close as you can. She did it. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.